GDMK allows us to apply geometric tolerance value at a particular material condition of a feature of size. These material conditions can be maximum material condition or MMC, least material condition or LMC, and even we can apply the geometric tolerance regardless of feature size. My name is Kevin Kutto and in this video, I'm going to explain these material conditions and their applications. Do subscribe, like and press the bell icon so that you never miss any new learning video from Design Geeks. So without any further delay, let's deep dive into this topic. Before we understand material conditions, let's understand what is feature and regular feature of size. So feature is a physical portion of a part such as surface, the pin or the hole as shown here or the slot and its representation on the CAD model or engineering drawing or in any digital file. So in this case we have a block and in this block we have this through hole. So what are the features on this? All the sides of this block and this cutout or this hole on this block are features on this part. So the front, back, left, right and top and bottom sides of this part are the features as well as surface of the hole is a feature. If this has a slot on it then the surface of the slot is also a feature. Now that we understand what is feature let's understand what is regular feature of size. So we have two type of feature of sizes, regular feature of size and irregular feature of size. Here we are just going to understand what is regular feature of size. So regular feature of size is one cylindrical surface as shown by this hole or a spherical surface just like a surface of the ball or a circular element or set of two opposed parallel line elements like two edges of the part or opposed parallel surfaces like we have here this and these surfaces are opposed parallel surfaces the only condition is they should have single directly tolerance dimension associated with them so in this block example itself we have the width of the block length of the block the thickness of the block and the diameter of this hole are regular feature of sizes because these are opposed elements with single dimension and tolerance. So length of the block, width of the block, height of the block and diameter of the hole are our regular feature of sizes. If we have slot here, the width of the slot and the depth of the slot will be also regular feature of sizes. Now GDNT allows us to specify the geometric tolerance at various material conditions of feature of size. As shown in this example, we have this block and we have this cutout. We have this face is used as a datum A, this face is used as a datum B and the perpendicular face is used as a datum C. And with respect to datum A, B and C, this hole will have true location which is specified by basic dimensions. This hole has a diameter of 28 plus minus 0.3. So that means this hole can vary within 27.7 to 28.3. And we have three conditions shown here. In the first condition, we have a tolerance of position specified at maximum material condition and which is shown by M modifier. That means it is showing that this position control or this tolerance value is applied when this hole is going to be produced at its maximum material condition. Similar way, instead of M, we have L modifier. It is showing that this particular geometrical control value or tolerance value will be applied on this feature of size when this feature of size will be produced at its least material condition. Whereas in third feature control frame, we don't have M or L modifier, which shows that this geometrical control value is applied regardless of feature size. Now let's go through each one of them and let's understand what is maximum material condition, what is least material condition and what exactly regardless of feature size mean. 
let's begin with the maximum material condition maximum material condition is the condition of feature of size in which this feature of size will contain maximum amount of material within the selected limit of size for example we have the hole and this hole can vary within 22.2 to 22.8 now out of these two sizes at what condition this hole will have maximum material on it obviously when this hole is produced at lower size then it will have maximum material on it and that's why 22.2 is the maximum material condition for this hole or internal feature of size now instead of hole if we have round lug or that is also called as external feature of size now this round lug will have more material when this part will be produced at 22.8 that means higher size so it's not about largest or smallest feature of size it's all about that limit where the hole or lug is going to have maximum material on it and that's why 22.2 which is the lower limit and 22.8 which is the higher limit is the maximum material condition of the round lug now least material condition is exactly opposite to that of maximum material condition so least material condition is the condition of feature of size in which a feature of size contains the least amount of material within the stated limit of sizes so here the hole will have least material when it becomes bigger so that's why the larger size 22.8 is the least material condition of this hole similarly this external feature of size or round lug will have minimum material when it is produced at lower size and that's why 22.2 is the least material condition of this particular feature of size now as we studied that we can apply this geometrical control at maximum material condition or least material condition and as this size varies with respect to maximum material condition or least material condition we get additional tolerance to control the position or orientation whenever we use m or l modifier we can get additional tolerance to control that particular geometrical control based upon at what size the part is produced and how much it is deviated from this particular stated material condition now regardless of feature size is more stringent compared to maximum material condition or least material condition because when we apply this tolerance regardless of feature size what we are saying basically is it doesn't matter whether this hole is produced at 22.2 or 22.8 or any other size in between these limits we are still going to control the location or orientation of this hole or lug within 0.2 so we don't get any additional tolerance here in the regardless of feature size so obviously out of these three conditions regardless of feature size is more stringent as we don't get any additional tolerance here now let's understand the application of maximum material condition least material condition and regardless of feature size first let's understand the application of maximum material condition so here we have this part in which we have this cut out and we have this other part in which we have this lug now in this part this surface is going to touch this surface on the orange part and this bottom surface is going to touch this surface of the orange part and in that condition this lug should always assemble into this cutout now i want you to imagine the worst case of assembly the worst case for assembly will be when the hole becomes lower size and the lug becomes higher size and when hole becomes lower size that is maximum material condition and when lug becomes higher size that is maximum material condition of this lug and that's why when the purpose is to assemble the part in worst case we have to apply the tolerance at maximum material condition this is to ensure that these two parts are going to assemble in worst case and as this hole becomes bigger we get more room to control the location of this lug because now this lug will have more room to shift from its true location as this hole becomes bigger this lug will get more room to go out of perpendicularity now this can be applied on all hidden parts where only assembly is important in some assemblies we are going to have aesthetic or craftsmanship 
perspective also like in this example we have this console in the consoles we have cutouts and in the cutouts we have these light pipes which are located now the light pipes carry the light from the leds to the surface because this is aesthetic surface we cannot have this lug move to the one side of the hole and if this hole becomes bigger and if this lug moves to one side aesthetically it is not going to look good similarly we cannot allow more out of perpendicularity as hole becomes bigger because it will not look good aesthetically and that's why it doesn't matter at what hole size the particular hole is produced we still want to control the location as well as orientation very tighter and in such cases regardless of feature size is going to help us in regardless of feature size we don't get any additional tolerance that means it doesn't matter whether this hole is produced at maximum material condition or more size or least material condition still we are going to get this point to as a location tolerance or orientation tolerance so that is the application of regardless of feature size now let's understand when we should use least material condition modifier so here in this example we have these two holes which are very close to each other and it shares a wall thickness now this wall thickness is very important because if these holes become bigger the wall thickness will reduce if these are threaded holes then it can break the wall if it is thin and that's why when the holes are at their bigger size we have to maintain certain amount of wall thickness so in this application we can use l modifier because when holes become bigger that means it is least material condition of those holes so if i control the tolerance at least material condition of both of these holes i can control how much thickness i want here in this example we have a boss and in that we have a cutout this thickness of the boss is also very important because this is a screw threading and during the tapping operation if this wall is very thin then it can break the wall as well that's why when this hole becomes bigger and the shaft becomes smaller in that case we have to maintain certain amount of wall thickness if we have to maintain this minimum distance like here or minimum wall thickness like here then in those conditions we can use l modifier so if we maintain this tolerance at least material conditions we can ensure that the minimum distance or minimum wall thickness and the minimum boss thickness can be maintained the other example could be hole is very close to the edge of the part in that case we are going to get the wall thickness here and that wall thickness also has to be maintained at least material condition so m l or regardless of feature size will have their own applications and based upon those applications only we have to apply this particular geometrical tolerance at maximum material condition least material condition or regardless of feature size i hope that this content was useful for you you can help us by subscribing to the youtube channel and liking this content so that this content reaches to the maximum number of design engineers